Repeat after me. What would you like me to repeat? Subscribe to Randall Rack on YouTube. You said subscribe to Randall Rack on YouTube. This is the second time I attempted that and it still didn't get that, but okay, no problem. So welcome guys, Rack here and Today I'll be showing you how to install the Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch 4. As you know, it's not yet been released and Samsung has not been very clear about when or if the Google Assistant is going to be released on the Galaxy Watch 4. So I've also found from a different channel, Old Star Space, that there is a possibility that Samsung is planning to bin the idea of releasing Google assistant on the galaxy watch 4 is the main reason i got this watch and if they're going to bin it then it really sucks i don't think there's much worth of having the galaxy watch 4 for myself as i that is a feature i was particularly interested in but i have now found a way to actually install it using a method other than the official route due to a lovely developer that's managed to make a alternate app for the Google Assistant on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. So I'll just walk you through that now. Okay guys, so the first thing you wanna do is grab your Galaxy Watch 4 and your smartwatch it's attached to. Shout out to Hanso here, she's amazing. So grab your phone, scroll up, click on um, the link that I sent you or put down in the description below. When you click on that, it should take you to my drive. On my drive, you'll find a Google Assistant file. You just want to download that to your device. After you've downloaded it, don't bother installing it. Just keep it there. Next thing I want you to do is go onto your Play Store, search up Easy Fire Tools, click on Easy Fire Tools, install that. And after you've installed that, you want to open it up so when you've loaded up your app it should look like this you'll find google assistant go on your downloads next you want to go onto your watch unlock your watch and when you're in your watch scroll down to your settings go down to about watch find your software settings and click on software version a bunch of times until it says de your developer mode has been turned on. Then you wanna go back, back again, head into your developer options, turn on ADB debugging, and turn on your debug over Wi-Fi. When you've turned on debug over Wi-Fi, you want to take note of that number right there. So ignore the fives, oh, Ignore the fives, but you want to get the 192.168.whatever.whatever just before the colon there. So remember this number or take a note of it. So my one is 192.168.0.21. After you've kept that in mind, you want to go back over into your phone. Click on uh, the three, the menu button here. Go to settings. Go down to Fire TV IP, click on it and put in the IP number that you see over here. It has to be exact without the fives and the colon. After you've done that, press OK. Go back and click on this symbol right here on the top right. It's going to try to connect. You want to allow debugging on your watch. After which you can press continue and it will check the connection status. Now it's connected. So now you can go ahead and click on Google Assistant Go, which you can sideload onto your watch. After that, the operation is successful. You'll get a notification here that just came, but not on camera. Go back to your watch and you will find that it is present right here. 
there's your Google there's your Google Assistant. In order to make the shortcut, you have to go down to your advanced features in your settings, go to customize keys, double press for home key, set that to your assistant, and then you're sorted. All you gotta do is double press your home key, and there you have your Google Assistant ready at your service. assistant ready actual service on spotify but you can ask me to play it on one of your other apps that's okay google you've done more than is necessary for today so i hope this helped you guys thanks for watching and please subscribe for more content like this useful tips and tricks giveaways i hope this helped you again this is rack signing out